with these other colours and add little patches of these colours And I'm just sorry, I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing rather than talking. I do apologise for that. But as I say, blending is not really one of my strong points, same as non metallic metal. But blending, I keep trying to do. And I'm just trying to get a smooth application but on this side for some reason it doesn't seem to want to play I'm going to get a little bit of water and to play and see if we can blend it that way. Da -da -dum -dum. Let's get into this blue, or this pale blue, and go in. Like so, and quite a nice watery look to it. Let's see if I can manage it. And that's the look I'm after, anyway. There just seems to be something that's not quite right and it's just stopping the paint from sticking I don't know why. That might be the metallic under uh, metallic base coat that's under it. I don't know. But I'm going to keep plodding on in the hope that I can disguise it. Alright. I'm quite happy with that. Hmm. Now, as for the rest of the um, metallics. Let's have a look at Shining Silver for some of them. We'll leave that out of the way. Bring this back in. Oops. Not the mini over. And shining Silver. Come on here. Now hopefully this is much brighter than the uh, 
um, gun metal one. It seems to be. I am going to add a wash to some of these little um what's the word I'm looking for? Um let's mark a glaze to the bottom of this shield once it's done. Now that's when I've done that bit there. We'll go around the edge of his helmet. And this side as well. Also do the neck thing, neck protector in this, and I'm going to mix now. In fact, no, I'm not because I just realised I've got the probably got the collar that I was thinking of mixing in the first place. Yes, I have. Again, it's another model air uh, colour but it's arctic blue. Let's see how this goes on. Now with this I'm going to paint the centre of fur. I also want to paint well not necessarily paint just waft over and leave a little colour behind the leg it just adds a little colour and also belt buckle type thing. There we are. And the mask. There we go. So we have like a distinctly blue-ish tint to the armour, which matches with the fish theme that runs through the shield and the some of the um, panels. Just going to leave that as is for the time being. Once we've done this, the armor is done as far as I'm concerned now. There are just other things we need to contend with. Oh, I just noticed. There is this ring here. Now, what I need to do is get the leather straps done. And for that, we're going to use more modeler colour. 
but this time mahogany. So it's a nice reddish brown colour. But first off, what I want to do is get a nice point on my brush. And where I know there are cracks running through, just run this mahogany colour through it, just so we know. That there is damage there. Also, and that's towards the edge as well. But now, the. No, I don't like that because it's there's not enough red in it. So what I'll do, I'll do that. Add that. Let's add a little bit of this Arctic blue. Grey it down a touch. Um, and let's go for. Oh, what colour do we go for? I don't want that, I don't want that. Where are you? I can't find the colour I want, which is just about typical. Um, uh, I did have it out earlier. I can't really, don't know what I've done with it. Ah, it was hiding. Some spaceship exterior. Only a little bit of this. Just to. Let's add some more of this mahogany. Now let's have a look how this looks. Yes, it does stand out now against the skin tone. Because that's what we're looking for. We want something to, that stands out. We don't want a colour that blends in with the skin tone because you can't see what it is. Oh, yeah, and it doesn't matter if you go on the base now because the base is going to get covered. Um, the hard part I've got is trying to get the inside parts done. That'll do. I can see that now. There we are. Next is, oh heck, because it's all similar colours, I'm struggling to see. There we go. And let's try and get this. Without getting it all over the skin. There we go. I, mean, I do believe that with this coin, this skin colour, you really need bright something bright over the top of it. To bring it out a lot more, um, but we've done the best as we can with it. There's not much really more we can do. Um, I'm going to just take some of the spaceship exterior and put it in with this colour that we mixed 
for the um, leather straps on his shoulder armour just to add a little bit of a highlight on it just so we can go like that and down and then across the top we'll see more of it on this side than we would on the other um, we'll add a couple of things there that will do nicely and now just for a bit more brightness on some of these areas highlight the blue bits we'll go back into the shining silver and just do a little touch up here and there just make it look as though the, sh the light is glinting onto it put it in the middle of his Ujit mask and then just a little bit on the top of the on the top of each of these fish just like so. Oh, there is something I've forgotten to do. He's Gladius. So, while we need to get the Gladius done, I forgot all about his sword. How can you forget about his sword? Oh, you fool. Okay, we need to add some more of the um... In fact, for good metal, I've got some of the uh, paints again. I need to just add a touch of that. It's a little darker. It was plate mail metal that we used earlier. But we we'll just add that to the blade. And then we can highlight the blade a bit more. There we are. Next, we need to uh, um, need to do the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we need to do the handle and the hilt. And for that, we're going to use another Vallejo metal uh, metal colour, which is copper. It's over here and there, and then there as well. Don't forget underneath. And on top, and then we'll highlight them in the same way as we did the others. And now for the feathers. Flash gets yellow. Straight out of the pot because we're going to apply this like a dry brush. Um, Thank you. 
and on this side as well. There we are. Now what I need to do, is that right? Yes. Go back into the shining silver. We can go along the top edge there and do a little bit of a That is it. So next arm we need to do is sand the base and paint that up. You've seen me do that many times before. It's a gladiatorial arena, it's just sand, so that's all I'm going to put on it. I'm not going to faff about with anything else, it's just going to be sand. Dip this in, and once it's dipped in, and uh, the glue's dried, we can paint it. And that's as far as we go with this. So, I will leave it there, that's it for that mini. I hope you've enjoyed this particular uh, look at the paints and the model. <laughs> there we have it. I must admit I do quite like these flash paints. They give a really nice colour. I'm not sure what this obsidian pigment thing is. Um, these pigment toners. I don't know what they're for. I necessarily how to use them as yet, but I'm happy with this the way it is. I don't really want to go any further with it. Um, oh, what I could do. What I could do. I've just noticed. this like pinky colour here. Um, looking at these there are some quite prominent veins or scars that I can actually Because of the wash, the mini slightly glossy now, and I'm struggling to see exactly where I'm looking, if you get me drift. I know it's there, but... I think there's one there as well. like scars I think rather than um, veins I think the most scars from where it's been cut in battles and they've healed are there any on the front I can't see like that looks to be one the goes round his leg. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh huh. Just seen another just at the top of that one. There we are. That will do. I've, I'm happy with what we've got and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope Andy from uh, Wigan War Games and RPG Club likes the finished products as well. So we have another one of these to do with a slightly paler skin colour. 
and we'll do that one next but I just want to get this one done and once it's done I can take it into Nate and show him and I've just seen another little bit that I could do which is just a little bit of a A bit of a highlight there. That's it. I'm not fiddling anymore. That's it. Tools down. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. So I will take a photograph and show this at the end of the video. And uh, in fact, I'll take a few different front, both sides, back, and then you can see how it looks fully. Okay. So well, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll try me again when we try a paler shade of skin tone. But until then, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye. Finish.